This is a Hendrix College special presentation. I'm Eric Holt. I'm here with the uh, SAA Offensive Player of the Week, Seth Peters. You guys beat Chicago this past weekend, 27 to 21. Talk a little bit about the game, Seth. Yeah, the game was uh, the game was actually a lot of fun. Um, we got to go to a really historic place, uh, Chicago. Um, it was their 125th anniversary of football, Heisman presentation, uh, homecoming, all that good stuff. And uh, it was a really fun atmosphere, and uh, we were able to go down there. Both sides of the ball played really, really well, and we came out with a W. You had uh, you were 20 of 29 through the air, 336 yards, three touchdowns, school record 74-yard touchdown pass, and route to the uh, to the award that you won. Uh, what does this mean to in terms of your recognition and how the offense played? Um, in, in terms of the award, I mean it's. It is SA Player of the Week, but um, it is definitely a team effort. Like, and it, it, it requires all the guys. Um, it's an offensive unit. Um, it's kind of unfair to give it to one person, but it, it's a cool reward. I mean, it, it's an honor. Um, uh, it's it's an attribute to not just how I played, but how the entire offense played, and also how the defense played too. So you know, we kind of drove off of each other and off uh, off um, other players on the offense too. So. Yeah, I'd say it's a more of a more of a team thing than an individual, but it is definitely um, an honor to receive that. Chicago scored on their last drive of the game Saturday. You guys had the ball with about eight minutes left. Talk about that last drive and and the importance of killing the clock right there. That last drive, um, our mindset going into it was we don't need to score. Uh, we have the lead. We just need to make first downs. We need to be consistent moving the ball. Uh, we need to keep our defense uh, on the bench and. Um, just try and maintain possession of the ball as long as we can. Um, you know, at best, which is what we did, which was wind the clock all the way down there and win the game. But, you know, if not that, put them in a really tight position with no timeouts. And uh, it ended up, you know, working out. We had four or five first downs and just the clock just melted and we were, we were able to win. And now this week you guys play Rhodes on a Saturday night under the lights at Young Wise. It's a rivalry game and you guys haven't beat them yet. Talk about how you guys are going to get ready. Well, I mean, we're going to try and approach it like every other week. Um, I think I think the guys are a little bit fired up, though, just because it is a night game and it is a rivalry game, like you said. And uh, but we're going to try and keep a level head, uh, approach it with the same uh, same as the same mental aspect that we have been the past several weeks, and uh, just try just go out there and practice hard every day, and and know that uh, when it time when it comes time to play on Saturday, it's going to take you know our our A game because it is. It is a rivalry game, and they're close no matter what. All right. Thank you very much, Seth.